welcome back to the big fat psychic channel i'm so pleased to be reading again for you today okay okay so we're going to look at harry uh, and megan's nigeria uh trip so but we're going to do it from uh, megan's uh, point of view as well mainly okay so uh is uh how is megan feeling about going to nigeria It's like, wow, wow, wow. So I've got a, an a, announcement here. But, you know, this is all to do with plotting and scheming um, uh, as well. So she's got uh, major, major uh, plans ahead. Now, I'm seeing a male here who will be very, very effective as well as, like, helping shape this trip. Um, connections, maybe. I see you grabbing things, you know, jewellery, clothes, perfumes, uh, more jewellery. You know, she's like a, as much as she can carry. She's just like, she's very expensive. That's what I'm going to say. Is she's very expensive. What kind of announcement will uh, Megan be making? Something that she doesn't want you to see. Uh, something in writing that she wants to cover. She's not exactly sure what she knows yet. Uh, does Megan have any security concerns with her trip to Nigeria? Well, if she does, she's there, uh, you know, she's hiding it. Um, I would say here is that, you know, when a, a foreign country says, oh, yeah, we'll give you security and this, that and the other, um, it's not going to be exactly as rosy in the garden as they make out. So, you know, what they're expecting and what they get are two different levels, okay? Two different levels. You have kind of got that situation where I saw soldiers and they don't care who she is. You know, they're doing a job and that's it. Look after so-and-so, look after so-and-so. But it's not that they know them um well or indeed will they have a bit of chit chat either because they're there to do a job um and they're subservient and quiet will megan be you know i get hiding okay so hiding hiding something what is megan hiding about nigeria Yeah, uh, lots of uh, negative uh, public opinion. She's not liked. And the, the fact is, I also see that in Nigeria. She's not the public out there greeting, you know, uh, these people. They're, they're quite family oriented for as much uh, threats as, as there is in Nigeria. They do, you know, no matter what, they're... they're together as family you know uh, m mothers daughters uh, nanas grandparents grandfathers brothers uncles you know uh, they're a very tight knit uh, bunch where family comes uh, into it well megan uh, be asked to prove that she is 43 percent nigerian That's sticking to the plan there. That is a plan. Okay, so she will be asked uh, uh, as well. She'll be asked uh, more questions. She'll be asking uh, questions about Doria because, well, unless uh, I, I've come from uh, the other side of Mars, uh, it hasn't come from her father's side. 
how will Megan feel about asking uh, being able to pro produce uh, evidence uh, for this? I think she'll have uh, fake some kind of um, certificate maybe that it can't be accepted. The strong rules here. I think she's planned for this. She's lying, but she's uh, she's planned this. Well, uh, the head of Nigeria believe Megan is forty three percent Nigerian. I'm getting caught out here. You know, is a. Uh, is a little su surprised uh, as well. There'll be an uncomfortable few moments between Megan uh, and this man. And and nothing would surprise him. Not nothing would surprise him at all. Does the uh, you know head of Nigeria uh, want to see Meghan as a, you know a, a, an honorary princess? Will he give her it? No, thank God for that. So you know uh, she's going over there thinking she's getting something, but she, you know no nobody wants her. Nobody wants her. Nobody wants her as a, a princess warrior. Uh, this guy is not going to uh, give her uh, that. Oh, well, uh, you know, the king, is it a king of Nigeria? Must be if you can give up titles. Uh, but anyway, we'll stick with the head, head of Nigeria. How will he feel about Megan, you know? How will he truthfully see Megan? Very creative with the truth, you know, um... So you get you get in all talk, no no firm foundation, you know. So it's all like pie in the sky, uh, and that she certainly you know milked things for all it's worth, not just with the royals, but with the visit to uh, the, this country as well. And it's all about you know uh, gaslighting. It's all about Trying to fake a, a bit of innocence as well and naivety. How will the public uh, Nigerians react to, to Meghan Markle? Oh, no, 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 no. Right, so I do see a woman here who is, uh, you know, a caring um, mother. How will they see uh, Megan? I think uh, Megan's going to be on her best behaviour uh, as well, you know, doing things, uh, going to see other mothers maybe. She's trying to uh, look as uh, regal as she possibly can. You'll notice something different about her hair as well, uh, the way that it's styled. I know she normally has it, you know, all, all back, don't she? But I don't know here. She might uh, have uh, her hair done differently. Maybe something Nigerian or they do her hair in Nigeria. I can't imagine that light, but, you know, you never know. You never know. What will uh, Megan love most about Nigeria? She feels she can do whatever she wants. She feels, uh, you know, it's something new as well to ex explore. So it's, uh, you know, it's attention, good or bad, from a, a new situation, a new place of being. I 
I don't think she's taken the trip as seriously as uh, she should. I know it's uh, not formal or anything to do with the rails. I'm just on about behaviour uh, and attitudes and manners um, when you go anywhere, you know, if, if it's a meal in a restaurant, you know. Uh, she's off to Nigeria, so it's uh, a bit bigger. So, yeah, it's like she's a bit of tomfoolery here. What will Megan uh, hate about Nigeria? Well, the level of security, where they're staying. Oh, yeah, that plans have been changed, you know, that plans get changed, so, you know, it can be... So if you was told to be somewhere for 8.30, well, you could be there, but the person who is more important than you might just rock up at uh, half past nine or quarter to ten, you know. So I kind of uh, see that because things that plans aren't being stuck to, uh, that this is what she will like because then she's not got any control uh, over situations and she has less time to uh, manipulate things. How will Harry feel about the Nigerian uh, visit? He's not so happy because he's leaving uh, the UK um, with problems of his own. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, don't want to work. It won't work out. Get out. You know, being too lazy uh, to do something as well. So he's not feeling it at all. He's not feeling it at all. Because so many things, he's focused on so many things that aren't working out, that haven't worked out. So what is uh, the what is Harry thinking at the moment when he goes to Nigeria? You know, watching uh, everything, seeing how it unfolds is on the internet, of course, uh, again. Um, he might be upset that there ain't much internet access out there, maybe. But I just see a struggle because I see him going out on a night uh, as well. So maybe he's doing something uh, that, you know, Megan's not aware of. Harry... Before was never really interested in being a king. I don't know. Now he's thinking he's uh, the king of the universe. He's for, he's so busy watching people, you know. Uh, instead of doing it whatever he should be in Nigeria and focusing on it, he's not. He's scrolling through to see about his reputation. So maybe something goes off just before you know Harry goes to uh, Nigeria. Is Megan going to pull any stunts? And if so, uh, what stunts will she pull during the Invictus Games? I see her worried about uh, Invictus Games. I've had the Nana in uh, the last reading. So, you know, she, things that keep her up all night, uh, She she's worried. So what kind of stunt? Well, we know there's a, an element of this 43 percent. Will uh, that, you know, will Megan be exposed here for the 43 percent Nigerian bullshit? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You know, is this what Megan is? You know, is she thinking, oh, oh, jeez, that comes out, that comes out, that comes out. So she's definitely uh, worried about that. I don't know why, but I just feel like a real fair-haired lady has uh, something to do with this. Like ready, maybe, as well. Red in it. I think she's, uh, yeah, she, I think she's worried, you know, uh, about this. <laughs> because this guy is not... Uh, going to to give her a title of anything uh he, he knows it's not true look he knows it's not true 
How did you think you was going to get away with it, Megan? You know, the plan all along was to confirm that you was uh, 43% uh, Nigerian. And then the boss of Nigeria uh, kind of didn't believe it anyway. So it comes as no uh, surprise to what we're giving her a title. Uh, you got plenty of uh, rumours here. Uh, she wants to look more royal than she is. Um, like you're if, if you thought you could get away with something. Yeah, Harry. She she's looking at the forty three percent and worrying about that. Uh, and Harry is worrying about stuff that hasn't worked out or that he's been told in the past as well. So you'd have to check the uh, other two readings. I don't know if I mentioned it already, but they, those to one Mike Tyndall got demonetized. <laughs> I've appealed against it, but uh, yeah, it, very odd. It happened as well. I don't know whether it was a month or two ago. Um, so in three years, it's never really happened to me. I mean, I ain't bothered anyway. There's not to, to monetize, really. <laughs> eight, eight quid for two videos, I suppose. <laughs> and that's at the best. That's if you listen to it all the way through, guys. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, this is uh, th this will come out. So what will uh, you know? What will be the outcome of Harry uh, for Harry in this uh, visit? You know, well, definitely a lot of uh, cussing and swearing from Megan. She's not going to like it because it's like, it's not as blessed with uh, the facilities, I'll say, that, you know, uh, big countries have. It's, you know, it's it's different. It's very different from your toileting to how you grow your food to how you eat your food to, you know, how you have to earn uh, money, you know, doing tourists all day or something, you know, uh, the family stance on things. It's all very, very, uh, the opposite, really, uh, to, to us. And what will be, you know, the outcome for Megan on this trip? Please say utter humiliation <laughs> okay what what will be the outcome for megan of this trip <laughs> oh i love it i love it i love it okay oh melon uh, melon melon uh megan i think uh you know this gets exposed uh that Megan is a, a fake again, you know, faking it. So you laugh, your star is breaking as well while they're, they're there. Um, she's in a, a damaging situation. She's damaged the brand again. What brand? You're just a pair of twats, you know. Uh, I'll, I'll try and uh, put, just start things, you, you know. that. If you want people to start things, that's fine. But not to continue or even be successful. I don't know, she's uh, well pissed off as well. And there's a lot of aggression here uh, and talk, so she could be making ac accusations that are false uh, as well. The minute she finds, you know, that like the uh, president or king of Nigeria um, has got her, what is it, got her, seen her, seen through her, you know. Uh, then this could get awkward, okay, this could get awkward, so again, more uh, bullying accusations or bad behaviour uh, as well, uh, Megan doesn't come out of this uh, well at all, and do you know what, Harry doesn't uh, much either, but as usual, it's more of a Megan uh, than it is of Harry. And what will be the outcome of these, you know, this for the king or president of Nigeria? He told the secrets. He told the secrets. Okay, so for him, he's got loads of information that he could talk about. And I think it, it would come out. How does the king of Nigeria actually feel about the king of England and what these two have done to him?
he sees Harry as a vulnerable cracker Jack losing it. Uh, you know, uh, uh, smoked so much wacky backy, uh, drank too much. You know, just really has got sloven uh, and lazy as well. So I think, uh, yeah, I think the, the king, when he sees Harry, when he's talking to Harry, just realises what an utter uh, dick he is. There's an element of pity there, you know, uh, as well. There's an element of pity there for Harry. Uh, so, again, you know, like I say, uh, it's going to be more drama uh, from Meghan than it is from Harry. And how he sees Harry, it's just like out of it, you know, not not with it, depressed, uh, anxious, paranoid, uh, bullied by his missus or henpecked, you know, whatever you want to say. Um, so what information will, uh, I'm sure he's, if it's Commonwealth, it must be King, but anyway, uh, yeah, so, you know, what are these secrets that will be revealed? Great change, you know, uh, great change and transformation. I don't know, you know, maybe they don't stay as long. As uh, thought, maybe they don't stay uh, as long. Could it be fleeting? Possibly how Meghan and Harry's uh, visit uh, ch have changed, uh, you know, from uh, the other uh, royals, so it's completely different behaviour. Whatever it is, she's not good. She's not good. She's not good at all. Is Megan in danger? You know, physical danger uh, in uh, Nigeria when she goes. Like I said, she don't, you know, everything's different on a level. So you might have a royal family over there. You might have security. You might have, uh, you know, uh, buildings to sleep in, stuff like that. But it's on a, a different kind of scale to, you know, the luxury that can be found uh, in in wealthy uh, countries. Okay, so Megan's not going to be happy about that. But, and she's not going to make uh, people happy either, you know. It'll be when we get there. Oh, this pillar. Oh, that pillar. Oh, uh, this is wrong. Oh, the vase is facing the wrong way. Oh, you know. It'll be all sorts and it'll be everything. I just couldn't be bothered, could you? I will, uh, what will be the outcome for the King of England then with these two going to Nigeria? Well, I think he'll be happy, okay? But not for, for I think whatever goes on, he'll be happy and ready to uh, celebrate, you know. Um, it's not just about thinking, oh, this is a, a good thing for Harry at all. It's about what goes on uh, and transpires, you know, uh, that he'll be happy with. He'll be like, good, I'm glad somebody's, you know, exposed uh, Megan. She's still got those three dresses as well. And whenever I see this card, uh, it reminds me all of the fake times that she's uh, done stuff. The red dress, the green dress, uh, the blue one as well. Um, although I have to say, you know, I liked the blue. Well, it was Back of the reds want it, but I like to uh, the blue with the rain and the um, umbrella. I know I don't show me, but <laughs> did didn't like the frog coat at all. And that red dress, oh my god! I mean, I, I said before uh, that's a, a, a Madonna's dress with pine cones. So he'll be pleased, okay? So uh, Harry and Meghan uh, don't look to be impressed and, uh, you know, the king will be pleased as well. Uh, especially that, you know, I mean, the Nigerian uh, guy will respect that uh, Harry is the son of the UK uh, king. 
so it's just lucky that we've got a you know because when she has problems she brings him into it as well and I hides behind him but you know all the time regardless okay Harry has always been more popular than Megan okay guys uh, that's it from me uh, I will be back soon with another reading okay bye now bye bye